again once a day every day turn on the machines and live forever uh, here we go I'm alive I made it all the way back around to another Sunday who would have thought that I couldn't have made it this far I wasn't so sure but it happened. Uh, it's like regular time. We're in scary month for a whole month. <laughs> and now that's over, we can get some. Just like, like uh, look, ah, uh, just a regular life. Carl Senior, you're still around from uh, scary month and from all the time. Now, now he's back to just easily a scary month that like really fits in. But now. In regular time, Carl Cena is just back to chilling like another day. Uh, we're all, we made it through scary month, but you know what's really scary month? Probably in a couple of days here. So that's scary month. Every November is scary month and really scary life still. So <sighs> I wouldn't have the spookiness. Now it's just like a regular day to day, just actual scariness. It just seems just spooky and scary, but that's over. We're going to be moving on today, thinking about November. Uh, you can call the number up there. It's 360 836 4384. Get on TV. Uh, not a lot of people leave messages. Last time we got a message was the 30th, which was two days ago. But who's calling during Halloween, maybe? Doing things? Stuff and things. You can get out of the meat if you go to YDHWM.com. Get on the video phone, as they call it there. Uh, I didn't do too much since yesterday and today. Because it was Halloween, that's me getting on the meet, and I'm on the meet. If you want to get on the meet, Sunday's at 5 o'clock. Um, yeah, yesterday I did the program on Saturday on Halloween, 8.45. And we're, we're talking to Freddy. Um... No, basically we talked to Freddy. Freddy was Sub Zero. I was dressed up like the skeleton guy. And we we're talking about Halloween. What else was there? Not that much. I don't remember. Uh, I don't think anybody answered the phone. That's what happened. Today, I don't know. I didn't eat that much candy. I didn't eat some cookies. I had a bad breakfast and bad. I didn't treat myself. I gotta be thinking about just like. Feeling better, bro. Tired now, and oh yeah, daylight is daylight savings time too. That's why. Stupid daylight savings time. Is it five o'clock or is it six o'clock? Live at fake five. It's six. It's six o'clock right now. It's like, what are we doing? How is this working out? So. Time. Crazy, crazy time. I think that this is the first one that we've gone through in the quarantine times like before that we were out there uh not not on this time <laughs> not on the quarantine time last time we flipped the time so now we're like doing i'm doing less and still flipping time the flipping time just seems like what why are we still flipping time but this is the good one 
another one is not so good but now I'm just we've been doing it at the same time and now I've got this time to do this thing and I'm usually not doing it right now now it seems like it's middle evening because it is it's six not five but it is five so middle evening time I think the last daylight savings time happened like right as we're getting into it maybe because I remember the last night drawer they call it was at uh was about uh time change and that's what time it was then so yeah call grandma I think I called grandma yesterday but I didn't really get to talk to her that much it was mostly Andrew uh, I ate <coughs> tomato sauce for breakfast. It's too, too acidic. Hi, Kenny. Hi, Grandma. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm okay, I'm by myself. Oh, yeah, where's Andrew? Huh? That's, I call and see how you're doing. I, I think that's on the under here. Oh, yeah? No. No, I don't know. He's not here. He might be there. Oh, he's in the bathroom. I don't know. Can you call? He's in the bathroom. Okay, well, I'll call her. Tell him to call me back. Grandma, Mizu Nonde Maska? What? Mizu Nonde Maska. Mizu Nonde Maska. Yeah, right now? No, you don't need to say much. Yeah. Okay. No more you need to say much. Yeah. That's good. So, when he get out of the bathroom, he gonna call you back. Hi there. Okay. Okay? You doing good? You doing okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. So, the son not talk. When I gonna see you? About Tuesday. What day today? Sunday. Monday? Sunday. Today is Sunday. Yeah. So I'm going to see you Tuesday. That's tomorrow, Monday. Yeah. So next day, huh? Yeah, tell Andrew. Yeah, okay then. Okay. Okay then. That I'm looking forward to see you, okay? Okay. Okay, bye. Thank you for right. calling. I'll call Andrew too. I'm going to call back in like five minutes. But he has to call you back? Yeah, tell him to call me back. I'll call. I'll call back in like five minutes. Okay. Okay. Okay, then. Thank you for the call. Thank you. Okay, bye. Okay. See you soon. Bye. Grandma. What are you doing, Grandma? Calling Mark next. Where are you, Mark? Sorry, you cannot leave a message for three six zero six four zero four. To send a message to another subscriber, enter the area code and phone number of the person you are trying to reach, or press star to enter your own mailbox. Nope. Nope. How about Dan Dobler? How about Mr. Ginsu? Making the calls. Hearing the phone ring. Hello? Hi, Dan. Hi. Hi, how are you? Okay. That's good. I'm seeing how you doing. What are you doing? You listening to music? Yeah, maybe I see. 
Yeah, that's good. You might take it easy. I hear loud music. Dan, All right. Are you drinking water, Dan? No, no. Yeah, it's always good to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you doing well? I'm just, just calling to see how you doing. You anything new? What's new, Dan? Happy Halloween. All right. Did you eat any candy yesterday? All right. Well, <laughs> it's loud, Dan. You can't hear me. I gotta go. Bye. <laughs> Oh, that was a pretty good call, Dan. You're doing well. I think Dan's doing pretty well right now. Um, all right, let's keep going. Let's call. Uh, what? You think Andrew's out of the bathroom? <laughs> Andrew's out of the bathroom yet? Uh, or uh, we're calling Mr. Ginsu. Cause I'm gonna let Mr. Ginsu go for a while. But let's see if he's there, and then he'll go for a while. Call Andrew back later on, maybe. Oh, what are you doing? Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Three. Six one five is not available. Uh, what are you doing, Mr. Ginsu? It's the program. You can call us back. You have about fifty minutes. You know where we are. We're here in the basement. I'm in the basement. Did you uh, dress up for Halloween? I don't know, that's over, but I guess it was yesterday. We could still find out about what people were doing for it. Most of the time, people are doing nothing for it, but you could do something. Something or nothing. How are you feeling about daylight savings time? I should ask Dan Dobler about that, too. And I say, oh, man, it's making me... It's messing me up. I think it messes me up. Uh, you can call us back. Goodbye. Okay, not good, not good, not a good thing. Let's see, I'm gonna keep. I don't know if we're gonna keep going on, um. Uh. Uh, the, 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 the. the uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> oh man, what was I going with? I had something to say, keep going with the. Uh, went right out, so. I guess there's something else. Well, let's find this tape. Uh, something, maybe there's something to do with tape stuff. I was grabbing that tape stuff at the time. But now we got all these tapes. Extra tapes that are... They're extra. For sure. It's Saturday. That was yesterday. What happened in 2000? Oh, here it's 2016. Okay. All this stuff. So, well, that would we do last year on the day after Halloween. It's like a regular day. Back to the regular day days. After having a month of scary time, then what do you do? Car. Carl's car got stolen. He suddenly got jacked, but it was much longer than that. But he, he, your car he got it back immediately, and maybe, maybe Carl has a... Who's that, bird? Car got stolen? Today. It's not really. He's uh, disagreeing with everything I said no matter what. He's destroyed music for three and four. Your daily hour yeah. with me. Yeah. It's the commercial. Look, Bird's here. Carl, yeah. where's your car? Carl's yeah. car got stolen. He says it got jacked, but it was less violent than that. But dude, he, where's he, your car, But you Carl? got it back immediately, uh, and maybe dude, maybe Carl has, well, a, is, has a psychotic break. 12 hours later. But, Bird, dude, where's your car? Bird was here in 2015 on this day, and now he's here again yeah. in 2016. Potential well, psychotic Bird, break, Carl? I going to be here Carl? again in 2017? Yeah, you might want to remember, Bird. Call him message, get it on TV, check it out. Dude, where did your card go? Yeah. Bye. Uh, Later. The next episode is two. Alright, let's call, uh... Let's call Grandma again talk to Andrew. Uh-oh.
Hi, Kenny. Hi, Grandma. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. You don't talk to under the hair. Yeah, I talked to you already earlier. Huh? Under the talk to him. You talk. I talked to her before when you were in the bathroom. You talk. I talked. I talked to her when she was in the bathroom. When you were in the bathroom. Why? I have to go to the bathroom. No, Andrew was in the bathroom before, and then I called, and he, and then, and now I'm calling him back. Oh, that's why she called me. I talked to her. I talked to her like five minutes ago. You were in the bathroom. Take a shower. Uh, now. Now I'm talking to you. Hi. She didn't say. She didn't tell you that I called you. No, I was wondering why she. Was bothering me. I was in the shower. Cause I was calling you. That's why. Or I was calling her anyway. Mhm. Mm and then she wants to give the phone to you every time. And I say, Grandma, I'm calling to talk to you. Yeah. And she says, He's not here. Someone's here. Someone's here. You're there. What are you doing? Getting out of the shower? Getting out of the shower. That's the uh, our childhood shower. Maybe, maybe we got changed up. You know, you're living in in that room where we grew up. Yep. How was uh, Halloween? What were you? Oh, did I think I talked to you. Did I talk to you yesterday? Yeah. I did. Yeah. Oh, you were dressed up like didn't Grandma didn't dress up for Halloween? No trick or treaters, huh? Nope. How about candy? No, you need any candy? No candy. How about lunch? You eat lunch? Uh, sure. Ooh. <coughs> what is that? That's not that really an answer you can say to sure is not if you eat lunch. I don't know what she ate. You don't know but something? No. Nope. You feed her? She only eat unless you feed her, right? Maybe I didn't feed her. You gotta feed grandma. <laughs> yeah. How about water? Do you need another mascot? Yeah, she drink water. Yeah, she got one out? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you hear, you hear about Sean Connery? He died. Yeah, he was old though. He was like 90. 90? Yeah. Uh, I wonder if he probably didn't have the virus, but, uh, What's he been doing? Not much. Not recently. Nothing? I don't know what he... You like James Bond? Not really. I don't really either. I don't know what I... I never even seen... Have you seen the new James Bond movies? I haven't even seen those movies. He made a, he made a series of really bad decisions and then got kicked out of Hollywood. Oh, really? What? Uh, like he didn't do anything wrong, but he he made bad business decisions. Like he didn't want to be in the he didn't want to be Gandalf. I heard. Oh yeah. And then he chose. Uh, so he had like a bunch of he kept saying no to a bunch of projects. Yeah. That were successful in the end, mm -hmm. like, after, like like Lord of the Rings and then something else, and then eventually he said yes to League of Ordinary gentleman or whatever. Oh yeah. And that thing bombed. And then he kept trying, and then something like he failed. He quit. He's like, I've had enough of this. <laughs> He's like, fuck it. Oh, I'm done. Oh, fuck it. Oh, I'm gonna be old. Oh, <laughs> you do all right. Uh, turds. What does he say about <laughs> turds? Oh, turds. Hello, Gene. Hi, Gene. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. It's your Sean Connery impression. <laughs> oh. The Sean Connery impression uh, and Black Jeopardy. Yeah. Yeah, my, my Sean Connery impression is just an impression of the Jeopardy <laughs> Sean Connery impression. So. There we go. 
Yeah. He's shot. 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 I don't know what he even says. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Shot. 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 He's gonna. Uh, he says like. Uh, I don't know. James Bond. I'm James Bond. He's dead though. You know? I don't know. He just died. That's why. That's why we're doing impressions of him now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what you do at the funeral. When you go to people's funerals, you mock them and uh, imitate their voice. Everybody, everybody's like, <laughs> I'm... Sean Connery was a good man. I wish he was still alive today. I could see everything you know, he was doing. That's what they all say at the um, at the funeral. Mm-hmm. I guess this uh probably his kid is mo- yeah your mother people's mothers don't talk to your own funeral but your kids do. He mm-hmm. was in, you know my father was a famous person but at home he treated us just like everybody else did. <laughs> Uh-huh. Really yeah. good at the impressions. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I'm really good at impressions, huh? Yeah, that's my yeah. that's my well that's that's my impression of Sean Connery's daughter giving the eulogy to Sean Connery as Sean Connery he, as the daughter is is doing the impression of Sean Connery. That was clear. I got, I got that. Yeah. You weren't sad enough. Oh <laughs> but she uh, <laughs> you gotta cry in there too? Plus, people aren't having impressions anyway right now. Or I mean, not impressions. They're not having funerals. They are having impressions. Uh-huh. What is people? Do people even like Sean Connery? Is like more famous for that Jeopardy thing than anything else in my mind. Really old. Yeah, I guess he was famous before. I never even watched. Do you watch those new James Bond movies? Have you seen the new? Gene doesn't watch too many movies. I haven't seen any of those. Uh, the new guy, the blonde guy. The newest one got postponed. Aryan James Bond. I haven't seen any of those. The you, new one, Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish is in the movie. No. Oh, oh, she's in the song. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I never heard Billie Eilish. She's pretty cool. She's cool. Sure. Where are you, Gina? You're in a, a study. In the, the the back room. It's called. Yeah. Mm. Are those books? Uh, they're books, yeah. My parents' books. Wow. Rent. Beyond the River. A Distant Mirror. Palestine and the Palestinians. Hmm. Mountains. Beyond Mountains. Yeah. yeah. Beyond Mountains. What did you do for Halloween? I went on a... I went on a night walk with my mother and then full moon. Yeah, it was a full moon. It was yeah. supposed to be um, full, full moon Halloween and extra hour of partying Halloween. Yeah. It said it was nothing Halloween. Did also, yeah, did you, uh, the, the, the daylight savings time, they do it in Vermont. Thank you. Otherwise mm-hmm. it would be really late for you, double late. Oh no, it's only 5 o'clock. I forgot it's Sunday right now. I, I'm in the basement. And also, the daily savings time has messed up my time. So I feel like it's... Like, it's supposed to be, you know, it's supposed to be 5 or 6, but it's 5. And now the program feels like it's at a weird time and all messed up. You just like, wake up feeling ill. I'm just like, oh, I don't feel... I feel icky. Did you change the clocks, Andrew? Did you change the clocks? Yep. Grandma's got a lot of clocks and a lot of clocks. You gotta pick that big clock up, the one that makes the sounds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. 
Well, I don't like daylight savings time. It makes me tired and confused. Yeah. What do you think about daylight savings time? Uh, I got really drunk yesterday and then I passed out early. Yeah. <laughs> vodka non de masca? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were just drinking vodka at Grandma's in Lone? That, that woke up at 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Well, it, it wasn't 8 o'clock, it was 7 o'clock. Yeah. Yep. You got so drunk that you passed out at like, like 10? Yeah. Oh, man. By yourself? <laughs> yep. You just wanted to drink? <laughs> huh? That's what I do every night. You you drink yourself to sleep? No, I drink. <laughs> you, I mean, you can have a couple of drinks, but to, <laughs> to drink yourself to sleep is uh, every night is but not good. You drink every day? Yeah, this is some wine? Or what? Beers? Uh, Last night was Halloween, though. I had a... I had some cider. Mm hmm And with whiskey in it and ginger. Uh, and fortified cider. Don't, don't drink yourself to sleep if you... That's not a good way to go to sleep. It's not even maybe real sleep. I think it's like, that's what they say. Yeah, it's like your brain's not doing the sleeping thing. It's like dead, dead, kind of dead or <laughs> something, you know? Yeah. You think you're asleep, but your your brain's not, like, cleaning its sleep spots. That's what, like, when your brain cleans itself when you sleep and your brain's not doing that. It's like you're awake, but just, like, not moving in your brain. <laughs> I think we're going to sleep. <laughs> we're going to go sleep right now. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Good night. All right, there he goes. Andrew's sleeping. I kind of want to be sleeping too. I was sleep. I slept all day, even though I like I didn't pass out drunk, but I did like wake up and like it was like fake. Like I usually wake up around noon if I just wake up naturally. And today mm -hmm. I woke up and it was like 11. You know, I was like, 11, it's too early. I got to go back to sleep. Mm -hmm. uh, then I did, though. But I did get a watch. Uh, I got a watch, like, in, like, June. And it's supposed to have the daylight savings time feature on it. And I was waiting for that to happen. And it did. It worked. So, yeah, yeah that was good. Uh, also, daylight savings time happened, like, right in, like... March, like the end of March, basically when we had to like get into quarantine and when it was really like novel and scary for me back then. I mean, it's still like that a bit, but now I'm just con I'm used to it, the constant fear. But uh, back then, when it was fear was new, I was uh, it was the first time daylight savings time happened. So now we've been in a whole cycle of daylight savings time. So this is the first time we're going back to the other one while we're still doing this thing. I don't really ever have a problem with the savings time or talk about it, but everyone else does, so maybe I should change my dream or something. You don't have a problem with it? No. About the same? Uh, Not that much? No. I'm more into it. Yeah. It's changing, so, you know, the darkness is going to be here. That's the bad. I like I like the darkness. This is the, I like this better. This time is better than the last time. Just the the abrupt change is weird. They should just do, you know. With I mean, I guess people with analog clocks it wouldn't work out very well. But with everybody mostly has the phones these days anyway. They just change it by like two minutes every day for months. Well, I like the change. It feels like a snow day or something. Like oh, something's happening. Yeah, that's good. You you got a good attitude about things. Yeah. Um, I'm confused by it. Maybe maybe I it's a self cycle though because I'm just like ah, I'm gonna sleep all day. I'm mad about this thing and then I get 
uh, worked up, and then I'm confused, and I'm just double. And now it's it's a self driving cycle. Where, where's uh Phil? Not sure. He was on my lap earlier. I'm covered in hair. Uh, how's his eye? It seems good. All better? Yeah. No more medication? Yeah, no. no. It's, been, it's been a week or two since medication. Mm. Uh, then inside, which is so wild well, because he's such an outdoors visiting cat, you know, that, um, yeah, he's, you, not, he's, he's pretty happy inside and he hasn't been like, Green at us, I let him out the door. Occasionally he goes over to the door and like looks interested in going out, but oh yeah. I think that he's you're not letting him go no. out, or he's not trying to go out? Yeah. Not really, because it's, you know, there are animals out there to eat him, and he's such a, a roaming cat. Yeah. I want to wait until it's like definitely cold and maybe snow on the ground so that he knows that it's a bad idea to go away from the house. Yeah, what what kind of animals do they got out there? I'm gonna join on this computer that I borrowed instead. Okay. What? I'm gonna switch. I'm on my phone now. It's okay. Exhausting. Hold my phone up. Oof. Switch to Bob. There's bear bears maybe or Vermont, huh? I think it's the big bear. I think there was a really some very happy schools or something. So, there's lots of things for the bears to eat. So they don't want to go after cats? Um, where am I? Here we go. Ha ha. Um, they might also fisher cats. There's fisher cats. There's elks. There's raccoons you could fight with. Hmm. Fisher cats? Yeah. What's that, like a bobcat? I don't really know, but I think they're a little bit long and not quite a cat, but for some reason they're called a cat. And I think I have, like, believed they've killed other oh, cats of mine. They're not a cat? That's my vague belief. I don't know what are they then? Do- like, more like dogs, or what kind of animal are they? More like a mink or something. I guess. I think a mink is a cat. Yeah. Fisher cat. Oh, 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 I don't have to do this. Oh yeah, but I think if it's if minx is a cat, like bobcats, lions, tigers, they're all cats. So it's closely related to, but larger than the American marten. Yeah, I don't know what that is either. Yeah. Oh, boom! There. Okay, bye, future. That was Halloween. We were looking at Halloween yesterday. Where was that? Uh, that was Freddy. Freddy. Freddy was dressed up like Sub Zero. Oh. And then there was something else the other night. You done very well with Halloween. Oh, yeah. Freddy gets into it. He's got a lot of uh, creativity. <laughs> and energy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you, you didn't have a costume? No. I did phone banking me on some of this sometimes. And yeah, and then, are people, are you video, your video phone banking? No, I have a Zoom call and then also phone banking, but I'm usually in the breakout room helping people get connected to mm-hmm. make sure they're yeah. feel comfortable. It's very but, serious. Yeah. It's very That's serious right. and you're like, I would like to speak to you about some very serious issues. sometimes Ah! Uh, systemic racism. Oh, excuse me. 
It's hard. A scary month was scary because the whole it's all scary. So. Yeah, it's still it's still huh? Well, it's still now we're. Yeah. It's still 2020. Yeah, we're back to scary. Well, before it was like spooky month. We're like, ooh, goblins. <laughs> but now we're like, ooh, real actual scary things. Election. Yeah, all oh, the election is scary. Uh, yeah. yeah. Ooh, disease and wild old white men. Oh, that's scary stuff. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty scared. I don't know what's gonna happen. We're gonna see this thing. Uh, what else can we do? Can't be scared. How's it the help. How's that? Doesn't help. What? It doesn't help. Yeah, be scared. Be scared. How's the baby in New York? I just video chatted with her. Wow. Uh, she's great. She was eating. She does a funny stomping thing when I say stomp, and then also do turning. She does goes turning, turning, turning. <laughs> so that's fun. The baby's walking. Yep. You oh. bet. Yep. So everywhere. Uh, I'm gonna record, uh, I'm gonna record a message of the future. Good. All right, here we go. Okay. Hey, future sus, the past. Hey, future. It's us. It's November. We made it through scary month, but uh, we're now it's scary life. Yeah. Sean Connery died. We're talking to Andrew about doing. A, I was doing an impression of Sean Connery's daughter doing an impression of Sean Connery while crying. Uh, That's a funeral of Sean Connery. At the funeral. Uh, bye, future. Bye. Well, should we look at you? Want to look at the last week? See what we've been doing? Yeah. All right. See, that's on this tape. I don't know how to eat chocolate chip cookie dough right now. I might do that after. I might make it and eat it after we talk. Are you gonna cook it? Or are you just gonna eat the? I'm gonna cook it. I'm gonna eat a lot of it too. Where did you make it? I haven't made it yet, but I plan on it. Oh, you didn't make the dough yet, though? No. Oh, wow, well, you make them from flour and stuff? Flour and butter? Yeah. Sugar? That's me. I'm famous. Yeah, you were on the message from the past flour, butter. That is awesome. Freddy looks so good there. Freddy's dressed up, all the Halloween stuff. <laughs> Who's <laughs> that guy? I forget his name. James. James, of James, course. Is James on Mondays usually? Yeah, that's a Monday. He yeah. spits out a spaghetti on on the when it's going backwards, or he, <laughs> yeah, spits it out, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In a future, it stays there. The future is Borat still alive, or did Kazakhstan kill him? I think he's still alive. about Borat with Andrew and Grandma over there. Uh, so we're yeah, still in that same Mizu Nande Maska. Uh, it's Sunday and it's dark. I'm in spooky place. Whoa, okay, yeah, bye, future. Yeah, it's dark here, too. When are you going to Hey, 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 hey future, it's us the past. Hello, Hi. future. It's Monday. James had to lie down because he was getting blood work or something. That's why he's lying down and he's melting. Blood work. And Heather. Heather. Hey, future, it's us, the past. Hi. Hi. I, um, subscribed to a Patreon today. Some guy from the West Memphis 3. I'm going to follow his life's journey. James is in Milton, and y'all fellas in the outskirts of Philadelphia. You got the shrimp and chicken, Alfredo? Bye, future. Bye. Hey, future, it's just the past. It's Wednesday. Yeah, that was a weird Wednesday, thing. I don't know why spooky. I, like, what happened yeah. there. And, uh, Black and White, and we talked to Alex. I was oh, informing them about getting the sponsorship. And, uh, 
staying inside. Stay inside. Wednesdays are nothing days. Nothing. No, what's happening? Always will be. What happens on Wednesdays? Just napkins. My nothing. future. I used to go swing dancing in Seattle on Wednesdays. Oh, yeah. Future, future. it's just the past. Mizu Monday Maska? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what did we talk to the in the car? I'm a vampire today. Yeah, yeah but it's kind of saying sad things about the world, which are kind of true. I'm very tired. Yeah. Uh, it's Thursday. No. World's tired. Like, well, oh, wake up. Wake up. Box oh, around here? Yeah. yeah. I'm in a box. Yeah. It's all you guys. Hey, future, it's us the past. What, Mr. Ginsu? Nothing, it's all you. Uh, we are talking about skiing and uh, firearms. No, we weren't. Oh, uh, yeah. That Scary part. Halloween for me. Oh, you're already in Halloween? Mm hmm. Wow. Halloween. All, all Hallows Eve and then All Hallows Day, uh, and you don't. Do oh, all today day. anymore, and everybody's getting all uh, not doing good things, only the bad things. Okay, bye, future. No, because I beat you to Halloween. Yeah, but that was on. Hey, future, it's us. Yesterday's Happy Halloween. Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, wow! Look at that. It didn't happen. I gotta change it. I gotta change the thing to do it like this. Ready? Nope, not ready. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Right. Oh, there it is. Not gonna happen. Boom! There. Okay. Oh, special effects. Oh wait, here's today. <laughs> this is today. Okay. Hey, future us the past. Hello, future. It's us. It's November. We made it through a scary month, but uh, we we're now it's scary life. Yeah. Yes. Sean Connery died. We're talking to Andrew about doing it. I was doing an impression of Sean Connery's daughter doing an impression of Sean Connery while crying. Uh, That's a funeral. Oh, Sean at Connery. At the funeral. Uh, bye, future. Bye. Bye. Wow. Well, we did that really well, I think. Hey, good job, boss. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm proud, proud of me. Uh, the. Oh, uh, what was that? Uh, all Hallows Day, because it was like, um, Halloween is All Hallows Eve. And then they changed it to all ha to Halloween for some reason, from All Hallows Eve. Mm. Mm. So then, that means that today is All Hallows Day, which is, I think, the day to repent. Because remember I was talking about how people don't repent anymore? We, I think you were there for that. Yep. I think so, yeah. So today is the repenting day, which it kind of feels like, but instead it's, so it's like hangover day, basically. Mm, that's a repenting. Yeah. You're typically repenting drinking too much. Yeah, so like on, on like Fat Tuesday, I think is after the day after uh, Mardi Gras, and then like New Year's Day, and All Hallows Day is Hangover Day when you're supposed to repent and maybe. Guess what? What? I got I have good news for me. Uh huh. Um, I. Remember, I live with my parents right now? Yeah. Yeah, and then I was going to maybe house it at a place that I didn't think it was going to feel very good and it might be too expensive to heat. Uh-huh. So they don't need me. Uh, and so then I was like, okay, what am I going to do? I'm going to have to pay to live someplace. Who am I going to live with? Yeah. And then they got in touch with me and said, actually, my brother and wife, they're going to Florida, they might need someone. So I went there yesterday, yeah. and, and they were really shrunk, cozy, passive solar house on 30 acres of land, Whoa. and at, on like a dead end road that's only 20 minutes from my parents' house. And I, I talked with them this evening and they want me to do it. So before Thanksgiving and be there through into March, May, through April, through April. Through April? Yeah. That's a long time. Yeah. And then I'll just pay for the heating, which they think is only maybe $200 a month or less. Uh, but you, oh, but you got to stay there. But I mean, that's still very cheap, but uh, they almost should pay you. 
Yeah, so they right. Yeah. I think they don't want to do it. Usually they have a house, like a family member stay there. Yeah. Like a nephew or their kids, and the kid, they don't like it because there's no TV there. There's no Wi-Fi. Oh, what are you going to do? I'm going to try to do a hot spot. Yeah, you're gonna, you could just buy Wi-Fi. They could probably just like send it to them. It's like a uh, deep, dead-end road in oh, more of a mountain, wow. which might not be an option. Wow, what are you going to do with yourself if there's no TV or Wi-Fi? I don't even know what I would, how it could well, look like that. Well, with my phone internet, yeah. which I think I have unlimited, and I think I'll try to make it a hotspot. I think he does that and he plugs it into his gu guitar, into his computer. Yeah, so, all right. Yeah, wow. I hope to be able to stream the movies, but yeah. it's good to not do too much. But I do want to be able to... Zoom, here I am. I'm zooming now or whatever. Yeah, yeah this basically that. That's uh, that's good. Congratulations, you're gonna take Phil there. I'm not. I didn't want to push it, and I, and I have like a really spick and say, fan, fancy ass house. Uh, and Phil's very happy here, and I think my parents are happy to have him oh. sit around the apps and be family all day. And, yeah, I was worried because I don't want to leave him alone all day. He's so social. He would rather be around people. So. Yeah. And you're going to keep doing landscaping? Well, it's just two more weeks. Uh, oh, because then it's over for winter. Up to pack me at fancy groceries to Boston. But that will continue. And, wow. Yes. Uh, you're really, you're, it's like, a, you're really, you're like having to Ride the, ride the waves of the quarantine time, of the new world. You know, yeah, like that's good. I kind of like would would throw like to throw things out and start doing whatever, just ride it out. But uh, I'm basically just doing the same things I used to, except for less stuff. But uh, yeah, that's okay. Too. Uh, yeah, yeah, landscaping, landscaping, grocery. Bagging, and then you get to eat the food too. Oh. Did, I, did, I, did I do it this time? They feed us a dinner on the long day, and they feed us lunch on the short day. Oh. So we've got a little owner. Fancy food, they make it there? Yeah. Oh, with, with the vegetables. Yeah, and the uh, meat. Oh. I had steak and pork. Oh. Alright. We got yep. about 13 minutes left today. Who should we call? Yeah, well, I tried to call Mark, and I tried to call Mr. Ginsu. Uh, I kind of want to call Mark again because yesterday I kind of harassed him a little bit by accident. Um, Maybe you should let it sit on my way. Oh, really? <laughs> Well, I did try to. I already tried to call him earlier, and he didn't answer. So maybe I should. Maybe you're right. Um, because he didn't celebrate Halloween, which is fine. But he was like not wanting to even answer Halloween-related questions. And then, well, I ended up Halloween, the I, day of. I ended up, yeah. I ended up badgering him because he's like. I guess when people, oh, whoa, spooky! Uh, when people refuse to answer questions here, I don't know if I do this on, I kind of do this in life too, but I was like, why not, Mark, why do you answer these questions? He's like, I don't like Halloween. I was like, ghosts? What, you, what about ghosts? What do you think about ghosts? I was like, I don't like ghosts. And then I was like, come on, Mark, ghosts. T tell me about ghosts. And then he hung up. <laughs> okay. Uh -oh. Ghost right now. Ooh, he did not want to get into ghosts, but I don't know what he was else he was doing. Maybe he was Maybe afraid of ghosts. It was nighttime. Oh, he's afraid of ghosts. He didn't want to bring it up. He's like, it's a touchy subject. Mm -hmm. I actually have some negative experiences with ghosts, but I would like to hear about that if he did that. Yeah. So. My mom told me a scary ghost story. Yeah. Mhm. Mm what? What is that? You gonna tell? <laughs> Can you tell? Sounds <laughs> like a lot of energy. Yeah. Uh, okay. 
So it happened over in, in Warren. There's the Warren store. It's like a really charming store. with really good sandwiches. And it's been there a long time, so there's a lot of you know, little fogies. They sit outside and chat, and especially during you know, uh, COVID, you know, that's the only place they can be publicly. So, uh, uh, so one day this woman comes through into the store. She looks so bad and like and pale and sickly, long hair. She walks in and reaches in the cooler and just gets this little a bottle of milk, and then she walks out with it. She doesn't pay. Um, huh. Oh, that's weird. So, yeah. so the owner of this guy is, he's like, hmm, it seems like she really could use that nutrition, you know. I'm going to be all right with this. So then she, uh, same thing happens the next day. She walks by all these little guys, dudes sitting there, walks in, gets a bottle of milk, and, um, Leaves without speaking to anyone or paying. Well, uh, cool. I don't know. She looks really bad. I don't know what we should do. I don't recognize there's always a small town. Uh, so, next day, the same thing happens again. She Ooh. walks in, takes the milk, walks over that point. So, they're like, what the heck is going on? So, she walks. Um, and, you know, it's a small town, these, you know, like, New England towns, they always have, like, a store or a church, a graveyard, you know? Um, so she walks to the graveyard, or she walks to the church and then disappears behind, into the graveyard, and they come back around, and they, she's gone. Whoa. So that, you know, but, but there's, like, there's a fresh grave there. Uh, and then, like... All right, we just, we got to know what the heck is going on. Like, this wasn't here. It's not supposed to be here. So they dig up the grave. What? And that's a, that's a, that's a they find it. And inside, they find her corpse. But they also find a live baby. Oh. And three empty milk bottles. Oh. Yes. Worms? What's the last no. thing? <laughs> no. Her arms. Oh, her arms. Oh, arms. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. 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 Spooky. The baby was in the coffin? That's no good. Not a place for a baby. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Spooky story. Ghost story on Not Scary Month. Yeah. I like that movie, Coco. Uh, I didn't see it. Well, Pixar, Pixar movie about De Los, De Los Mortes. Yeah. Yeah. I never saw that one. You could. You should. I've seen it twice, which is rare. Why? Because um, I went to a movie watching show place and I didn't know they were going to be watching it. And then I, I enjoyed watching it again. Mm. Even more the, than the first time. And, uh, even though I was so happy with the people who I was watching the movie with. Oh, people end up watching the movies, those movies with the, uh, cause the kids. They watch those movies. I didn't watch it either when I was the kids. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a uh, good movie. It's good. Pixar, I don't want to ever watch this. Well, you're missing out. One, one time I was driving late at night and it was stormy, <laughs> and is this the first time? That was uh, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> there was a, a hitchhiker, uh, a, or maybe they were they were hitchhiking. There's like somebody walking around, and I was like, "You need a ride. It's raining," and they're all you know. Yeah, you. <laughs> driving a car, <laughs> car. stopping the strangers. Uh, I'm like, like, you home. Looks like you're wandering around confused, and so I drove them home. And then um, the next day, you know, I'm getting back into the car, and then in the back of the car, they left their um, accessories. You know, I don't know what do they look like a 
like <laughs> their purse or their uh, wallet. You know, something. Uh, okay. Probably. probably the what do people the belongings? They left their uh, indiscriminate belongings in the back of the car. Could have been a coat. You know, I don't remember. I don't remember what yeah. it was. It was a jacket, like coat. Uh, like, what do you leave back there? You know. Uh huh. And then, uh, but I dropped them off at their home, so I went to their home. And <laughs> you ring the doorbell of the home. And and uh, it was like a older person, not old. They were older, older than the person that I had picked up. And I was like, um, I this this person I had picked up on the road. They left their belongings <laughs> in the car. And then they, they they're, they're dead. They're dead. They died on that night last night of the year in out out where you were driving. Uh-huh. They're dead. <laughs> They're dead. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're dead. You're dead. You're, you're dead. They're dead. dead. People are dead. There's that TV show. Oh, what we do in the shadows. In the beginning song. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Oh, I watched one of that. It's funny. TV show? Yeah. Yeah, about vampires. I, I never saw the show. I saw the movie. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. See, I guess it could be a show. The movie seemed like it was enough. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad I haven't seen the movie because I'm enjoying. I enjoyed the TV show. It's got little chunks, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I've had enough of this in the movie, and maybe you watch the whole show though. But uh, kind of long things too. All right, we're getting down to. We got about four minutes left. What'd you eat for dinner? <laughs> I made a little dinner, which is unusual now that I live with my family. Um, I made eggplant almond enchiladas. It was in the Moose Cookbook. And I like them. Egg and almond? Eggplant. Oh, egg, almond. Eggplant and almond? Eggplant almond enchiladas. That seems crazy. It's very good. There's cheese, too. Almonds and enchiladas? I know. What? I think that's, um, what's the flavor? Is it enchilada sauce, like tomato pepper sauce kind of stuff, or? Uh, it's like tomato and onion, mostly. Like, and then there's, yeah, eggplant and peppers and onions and garlic in the inside of the... Yeah. Tortilla. And then almonds. Yeah, and those are toasted a little bit. Little bits of them, you know? Like, they're slivers, they're almond slivers, and then I cut them up. Where? Yeah, I did you make toasted this, them. You made it up? Or what? Well, yeah, it's in the Moosewood Cookbook, which is like the hippie cookbook. Huh. That a lot of hippies have. Have you had it? I've never mm-hmm. seen that before. Your parents have it? Yeah, uh, and yeah. I have it. Every household in Vermont has it. <laughs> Vermont is hippies? No, that's not true. I should not even say that. It's well, not true. I can see it being hippies. Uh, it's like... Well, they came, they came back to the land in the 70s, so that's a big relief. But there's also farmers, <laughs> you know? Snow clouds. Yeah, you know, farmers are hippies, aren't they? No, they're... Uh, Sometimes they're not at all. Oh, uh, 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 so. <laughs> they like, like plants and stuff. Yeah, dairy farmers. They're hippies. I don't think they wouldn't be happy if you called them hippies. Uh, like, yo, you farmers? Yeah, they're hippies. They're like, they're not a folk. Yeah. You like plants, you hippie? And they're like... <laughs> I'm from the farm. Uh, it sound like they sound like uh, Amish people out there in Vermont. I guess you ever sound like you're from Vermont, right? People. No, they don't have a, a Vermont accent. It doesn't sound like they're from like Maine. They don't have like... a Vermont accent. It doesn't sound like the Amish. Oh, what does it sound like? The Vermont accent. Well, I'm getting a little bit better at it. Um, like Maine. It's like, a little bit like Maine. On my farm. Well, like my work on the farm, and. So it's like, so you're, you're right next to Maine, right? So it's almost like the Maine yeah. accent. Like, it definitely has a lot of similarities yeah. with Maine accent. I know the Maine accent from, I think, Family Guy has got the Maine thing. 
and um, Stephen King movies. Like, he don't, go to, don't go to that way. Don't go to the cemetery out there. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's why I always thought that, but it's not similar. the cemetery. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, a that's lot. Like, a lot of people speak with that accent, and I think, like, I don't know if I wasn't noticing it before, but I'm pretty impressed, and I love it. I love to hear it, like, on the radio, you know? Yeah. It's awesome. In the old gas stations. That cemetery has a curse. <laughs> that's uh, Pet Cemetery. You ever seen Pet Cemetery? No. Well, that's a scary mo- movie, and I'm trying to be re- uh, not scary anymore, so maybe we should... Right. Shouldn't be thinking about it. Um, yeah, it's regular times. Thanks, Gene. Thanks, Grandma. Thanks, Andrew. And uh, I think it's everybody that we talked to. There it is. All right. Good night. All right, here's the credits we made. Oh yes, yeah, the new credits. Look at this. Oh, Not okay. Oh. Credits. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching. It's Sunday. We're on TCTV, channel 22, 11.30 until a.m. Check it out. WasteBM.com, yeah. 360-836-34, call me message. Get on TV. One night stay, oh. YHWM.com to get on the video phone. These are new. Yeah, new. UFO FBI, it's a good song. Thank you. I gotta read them for real this time instead of saying stuff. <laughs> We're brought to you by TCTV, TV, LeBay, Majority of Fabulous, Orca Books, Four Star Video, John Webster, Rebecca, Mark the Guitar Player, Mountain North Northwest, Jason Kennedy, Washington State, USA. Thank you. And viewers, you're watching. Thank you. Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah. Bye.